bad date? No. Dinner. Movie. Sex. Spill it. Oh, spill it we will, pipe up. Right to the very end. How you doing again? It's the thrift store run down, the Brady Hollywood home on a budget, and all day today we've been talking about the power of three, sweetheart style. The three most important things you need for a successful date night in with your babe. Dinner, a movie, and sex. Once again, we're about to reinforce probably the most important one-third of this tri quatrain triumph for couples everywhere, the latter one-third, sex. But if we're going to do so, again, responsibly. There's no way in hell I'm risking a YouTube community guideline strike for nobody. Not even for a couple of friends hotties playing mind games with each other over one of their boyfriends. Yet that is indeed the basis for Six Days, Six Nights. It's a French film given a limited theatrical engagement, I assume, by Fine Line Features, a division of the New Line Cinema back in 1994. The one element that most of the very few people who've seen this film stateside will remember is the original score, composed and arranged by Michael Nyman. I picked it up in a rare CD for a buck ninety-nine from the American Thrift Store in Passaic. So here we have here, Solitude, Broken Glass, Sisters, The Intruder, Watching the Bird, A New Beginning, Stolen Memories, A La Follet, which is actually the French title of Six Days, Six Nights. The Streets of Paris, Love Forever, Love Theme, Point of No Return, Escape, Broken Dreams, Dark Fantasy, and Six Days, Six Nights. Sixteen tracks, totaling 49 minutes, 15 seconds in all, from Virgin Movie Music, performed by Michael Nyman's very own ensemble, which, if you really break it down, amounts to a chamber orchestra in London. The album pamphlet summarizes the movie up, but I'll read it off of Wikipedia in just a moment. I just want to show you what's inside this uh, pamphlet. Playback was smooth, no problems to report. Oh, and by the way, people who wanted to specialty order this album, I assume off of Michael Nyman's website, would have been a bit disgruntled to find that years later, they got the companion soundtrack to the movie Six Days, Seven Nights, with Harrison Ford and the late Anne Hetty. Composed by Randy Edelman. Patterson made it, by the way. Not to knock his score because it's awesome, but it doesn't hold a candle to Six Days, Six Nights because these are two completely different films with two almost completely different scores. And yet this one is almost everything you want in a romantic Parisian thriller with a little bit of menage a try action going for it. In other words... These are the feels you'll be experiencing when you listen to the soundtrack alone, but preferably not alone. Why, it's hilarious. It's romantic. It's tender. It's charming. It's delightful. It's exciting. And it's groovy. Yep, again, almost all the feels. I wouldn't say hilarious because I don't think there's anything funny about two French women fighting over a man playing mind games with each other. Whether they're on holiday or if they live in Paris. Lucky them. Okay, maybe it's a little bit of a laughing matter, but still, better them than you, right? <laughs> anyway, about the movie itself. Two rival sisters, Alice and Elsa, have been apart for two years. Alice, a promising young artist, lives in an attic flat in Paris. Her lover, Frank, a boxer, has just moved in with her. Problems for the happy couple ensue when Elsa, a bored housewife, suddenly appears unannounced at their door after leaving her cheating husband Thomas and their two children, and a menage a trois develops. As soon as you hear that, a menage a trois, you know you're in for something rather provocative when you listen to the music. If you can find a DVD, well, more power to you. But for now, Settle for the CD, because it's really the one element of this film that didn't vanish into thin air after this got its limited theatrical engagement. Four and a half out of five claps. Six days messing around with your loved one's loved one could very much mean six years worth of solitary confinement in the heart. You don't want to do that. So leave your loved ones where they be and give this a whirl. As a whole, 
Who would have thought that you could get such a great week of content around here just by watching Charmed? All my love to Shannon and Doherty, and all of my luck to all of you couples out there that are willing to love smarter and love deeper, loving each other, six ways to kingdom come. And check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.